Hey, good evening, my brothers and sisters. Praise the Lord. Uh, thank you for having us. You're tuned to this great program. My program is called Trinity Timidity or Temerity. Temerity again is boldness. And I really love you guys for your patience. And, and may the Lord really bless you. This evening is a great day. Call your friends. Call uh, your buddies and tweet them. Facebook. Go to the media. Tell them there is a good news waiting for you. So dear friends, today if you happen to be watching me, today you're going to watch something wonderful. So today I want to really share a good news. Of course, the good news is my sister Abina's birthday. And she is going to, she's a prayer warrior, of course, my other sisters. And she is going to be celebrating her birthday today. What a great joy that she's going to be interceding for the entire world. How's that? So glad, glad, glad to have us in your place. And thank you. You will never be disappointed. The Lord has appointed you today. And I request my sister Abina to pray uh, as her day. It's a great day, her birthday. Okay, please pray for her. And today she's going to be praying for all of you guys. What a joy. Can you please pray? Thank you. Thank you, my Lord Jesus. We praise you, Father. Hallelujah. We honor you. Jesus. We bless you. We adore you, my Lord Jesus. We bow down before you, Father. Thank you, Father. What an awesome privilege to be in your presence, Father. You created this day for me to be in your presence. Thank you, Jesus. We give you thanks for the life you've given us. Life is so precious, Father. You are a precious treasure. Yes, you have a great yes. plan for every one of us, Father. Yes, Lord. The plan for the welfare. Mm -hmm. Not for the whole, says the Lord. Thank you, Father. We come to you, Father, as we are. What a great blessing to be in your presence, Master. Thank you, dear God. God so loved this world. He gave one this son. Whoever believes in him yes, yes. will not, shall not perish, Hallelujah. but have eternal life. People perish lack of knowledge. Hallelujah. Master. Yes, we Father. come yes. to you, Father. You're the knowledge, you're the wisdom, you're yes. a strength, you're a fortress, Hallelujah. you're a stronghold. Thank Father. you, Father. Thank, Thank you, you, Jesus. Father, we bring all our friends and relatives who is watching this telecast, Father. Yes. Wherever they are watching, Father. Today is the day is a blessing. Yes. Today is the day redemption for their family. Yes. Today is the day salvation. Sa yes, God. hallelujah. Whatever they're praying, Father, whatever their sickness, whatever pain they're suffering, Father, we bring them to you, dear God. Yes. You are the answer for everything, Master. Yes. Father, I pray for the mother and the father who's crying for the children, Father. Yes. Please wipe their tears, Lord Jesus. You're the only one who can wipe their tears, Father. Yes, God. And people are praying for the daughters and father who is away, the prodigal people, father, we bring them all to you. Yes, master. yes. You are the one who is going to answer them. Father, every sickness, master, every cancer, father, every depression, we rebuke it in Jesus' yes, name, master. Hallelujah. Father, I pray for all those people once again. Father, who ask us to pray every petition. Father, every petition, we bring them to you, to the throne of you, father. You are going to answer everyone, father God. Master, I pray for our network, our Dr. Joseph Nasrallah, and Father, our staff, every one of them, Father, we bless them all, Father, and their families. Pray for all the persecuted Christians around the world, Father. We pray for all of them at this moment. Reach and touch them right now, Father. Father, every one of them, Father, yes. we bring them to you, Father. Yes. I'm so emotional, Father, the way you blessed us, Father. Hallelujah. The blessing all comes only through you, Master. Father, the world is full of evil. Yes. Father, you are infuse your Holy Spirit on each and every one of us, Father. Yes. And diffuse every evil that Hallelujah. is upon this Thank world, Father. Jesus. Father, anoint us as we go to, Father, come before you. Thank you for your wonderful presence, anointing presence here, Master. Father, all of us touch us, Master. Father, you are in the midst of us. We surrender all. We surrender every petition, Father, in your throne room. Thank you for answering us. Father, bless my brother as he's going to speak your word, Father. Father, you take control, Father. Let your holy presence be here. Yes. Without holiness, we cannot see you, Father. 
I offer all this petition and thanksgiving in the name of above all the name, Jesus, amen. Hallelujah, yes, yes, praise you, Jesus, thank you. I just wanted to really share this amazing good news about Jesus Christ. As you are a believer and I'm a believer, some of you are watching, you may not be a believer, you're watching me uh, from various parts of the world. Uh, you know, you may, you might want to know what I'm trying to say here. What is the good news all about? Because there is only evil all around. Yeah. What is the good news? What is the good news? The most good news that has been a mystery and it's been a history. It's been hidden for years and years and years and years. It is a time for you and time for me to hear something good because there is no good outside of this good news. Man is created for the pleasure of God. Man is created in his image. But we all know what happened in the very beginning of Genesis. We saw man was created for his pleasure. And uh, finally we know the lurking serpent deceived the first parents. And the sin entered into their realm. Sin was not the answer, it was the Son. The Son of God was manifested in the very first uh, book of the Genesis, chapter 3, verse 15. The good news, good news is all about the mystery. And the mystery which has been hidden for this many years as I was sharing with you the last segment, the mystery is Jesus Christ is being revealed today. Who is he? Who is this Jesus Christ? Is the Lord from Lord? Is a light from light? Is a true God from true God? Begotten, not made one in being with the Father? Through Him all things were created. Every creation that you are seeing today is being created by Him and through Him and for Him. That's exactly what St. Paul a, a guy who was uh, a, a terror, who rebuked the Christians, who was a murderer, he killed the Christian followers, and he was Saul in the beginning to start with, and later on, he became a great a follower of Christ, and he, his name was Paul, and he was saying that the entire divinity is in Jesus Christ. Entire God is in Jesus Christ, my dear brothers and sisters. You really have to check, you have to verify this. The scripture is so very clear and it is like he is elucidating in every uh, 14 letter that he wrote apart from the gospel. So my dear brother, uh, brothers and sisters, you know, he was talking about the supremacy, the primacy of Jesus Christ. We are, for, we are forgetting that. Dear uh, brothers and sisters, you know, the entire Old Testament from Genesis to Malachi, it's all about Jesus Christ. From Matthew till Revelation, it's all about Jesus Christ. The seventh heaven, seventh, you know, seventh angel was blown the trumpet, and it's all about the mystery that has been revealed to the entire mankind. Here I come from a different part of the world, and today I am a follower of Christ. How about that? You know, I come from India. I come from another part of the world. And, you know, my ancestors' religion is different. And here, you know, Jesus Christ, his mystery has been revealed to the entire, uh, entire universe. That is the last trumpet. When the angel blew the last trumpet, it is in the seventh chapter of uh, Revelation, as well as, you know, go back to chapter 10 and you find... Uh, the verse following one onwards, you please read it. The angel was revealing the secret. And the angel was being appointed in Revelation chapter 14. That is the last book of the Bible. The revelation of the Bible. The revelation of the revelation about Jesus Christ. That is a prophecy. The entire prophecy is all about Jesus Christ. The sure word of Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, you know, if you really see the more and more the darkness, the more and more evil that you see in the world. Why? Because that mystery is still hidden in your life. Because the enemy still wanted to really hide you. 
he is hidden the secret from you and from me that's why my dear brothers and sisters you know the enemy of this world satan is blinded the minds and the hearts of the people that they may not able to see the glorious light and jesus said i am the light of the world so he is far better than anything in this world he is far supreme than anything in this world he is exalted highly and he is extolled to through you and me he has been created you and me just to elevate him that's what you heard last to last time last segment you heard you know jesus christ appeared uh, to a great rabbi his name is nicodemus and you all know about that you know in john chapter 3 verse 3 they're having a great conversation he's being a great scholar he still wanted to really you know they don't want to openly believe that jesus is the messiah jesus is the christ the word christ means the anointed messiah that has been foretold in genesis chapter 3 verse 15 so the whole entire world is waited for him and he showed up 2000 years ago and still today we are in darkness why we are in darkness because we don't know the power of this great god we are going through addiction we are going through various troubles you're seeing your problems you're magnifying the problems you're magnifying your addiction you think you can get rid of it you can come out of this darkness you have been chained and you think about the evil that has been around you the evil that has been uh, choking you dear brothers and sisters jesus christ if you know the power of jesus christ he says a wise man will build on this words on the rock of ages the rock of ages is jesus christ my dear brothers and sisters in matthew chapter 7 verse 24 you need to believe and trust and hear jesus christ all the time every old testament prophet is pointing out to this great mighty god every prophets every the church is meant to proclaim christ that's why they're all there every festival has to has to proclaim christ every jewish festival has to compare they can, they can't just mediocre they have to really proclaim christ if they are not proclaiming christ they are still in their darkness the enemy has blinded them and they were not able to see this glorious light so when you ponder upon him you will do exploits you will never be in the cave you will never be in the tomb you will come out just like jesus christ came out of the tomb he said i will let you i empower you you do the same thing that i have i have done greater things that's the challenge what is that what is that great thing that is choking you who is bothering you which prince is bothering you which tyrants are bothering you which terrorists are attacking you their days are numbered my dear brothers and sisters their days are numbered that's what isaiah says in chapter 40 isaiah you know it starts with this he said that, you know a voice will cry out in the wilderness you are in the wilderness a voice is crying out comfort ye people comfort my people comfort my people yes the voice in the wilderness you know that voice in the new testament you know that voice that voice is the john the baptizer's voice he said repent repent do you hear that message anymore america has forgotten the world has forgotten about the repenting message you have all this message that you hear it's all the prosperity yes christ by knowing christ the prosperity follows you you don't have to follow the prosperity you don't have to chase your healing your healing comes right when you know jesus christ and you have to you are being called to do great things so my dear brothers and sisters when you have been cramped when you have been choked by the enemy you don't know who you are he came to save you you came to redeem you yes he come to redeem you but the lord is saying repent 
That is the good news. Repent and believe in the good news. That's why, you know, the words of Christ, you know, there was a forerunner. You know, you know that John the Baptist in chapter 3 of uh, Matthew, chapter 3, please jot down. I'm going to be throwing so many things. Please jot down every word. That's your legacy. That's your destiny. Man shall not live alone by bread. Every word that comes out of Christ, it's yours. There is no dis disparity. There is no disparity. There's no disparaging with Christ. If you believe in Jesus Christ, every blessing is belong to you, my dear brothers and sisters. I challenge you. He is the bundle of all the blessings. What, what is the blessing that you're looking for? Those days, you know, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the highly intellect people, you know, they can't believe him. Here in the chapter 12 of Matthew, he was saying, I am greater than the temple. You talk about the temple. You talk about the worship of the temple. Right? You talk about all the nuances of the temple. All the offerings of the temple. But he says, I am greater than ye. I am greater than the temple. Then, you know, following verses, please read. Read for yourself. And he says, I am greater than the Solomon. He is greater than the king, the greatest king ever lived. A wealthy, most wealthy king. Billions of dollars by his wisdom he gained and he heaped. And Jesus said, I am greater than him. Greater than, the Mo greater than the Moses. Yes, that's what he said. Please turn your Bibles. He's greater than Abraham. In John chapter 8 verse 58, he's greater than. Muslim people need to hear that. He's greater than. Every Jewish people have to hear that. Every Christian folks have to hear that. He's greater than Abraham. He's greater than Noah. He's greater than all the prophets put together. Greater than all the saints that you know. Greater than all the men and women who walked in this world. They are after all the men. But this is a divine God. He's God from God. He's light from light. A true God from true God. Is anything too hard for him, my dear brothers and sisters? But he says his challenge is one thing. Come out of the wicked ways. That's what he says in Jeremiah chapter 8. Jeremiah chapter 25 again. Come out of your wicked ways. And he says, no, your grace. You come to pour the grace. Yes, you come to pour lavishly the grace. Yes, it's not. He fulfilled the law. He was being baptized. He was being crushed. To give, give you this, your identity. My dear brothers and sisters, you know, here the Lord is really crying out. He is great. He really wanted to really do amazing, amazing miracles in your life. He's greater than Solomon. He's greater than Elijah. He's greater than all the, you know, in, in the chapter 12, he was talking about the priest, priesthood that he instituted. He says, I am greater than he. He's a high priest. He talks about himself. Go see the Revelation chapter 1. Every word is about him. If they don't proclaim, you can't claim. You can't reclaim. You cannot proclaim. And you cannot. You're still lame. You're still blind. You don't know. You are in your trouble. Because he says when you know the truth, the truth, that will set you free. John chapter 8 verse 32. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, he is the light of the world. John 8, chapter 8, verse 12. He is a healer. He is a great physician. You are worried about your depression. You are worried about your cancer. You are worried about your spine. You are worried about your kidney. You are worried about your heart. You are worried about your brain. You are worried about your feet. My dear brothers and sisters, get out of the rut. Because Christ, knowing Christ, that sickness cannot stand before him. Satan cringed. Watch it in the Mark chapter 1. He cringed. Chapter, or verse 1, 32, 45. Read it. They can't stand. When a man was chained and, you know, he was hollering. He was running for his life. He was emaciated. He was, he was such a dangerous man. They put him in a, in a gutter, in a grave site. When he saw Jesus Christ, just read Mark chapter 5. That man was being a, such a, 
a, you know, terror for everyone. When as soon as Jesus stepped into that territory, he, he just came and followed his prostrate, his feet. And he said, oh, son of the most high, Satan could really, Satan is cringing. If you address the name, if you know his name, my dear brothers and sisters, come on. Come on, you have to really get rid of your fear and your worries because God is so big. He's so big. He's so awesome. You should know about him. And today, you know, I let you, Sheila read Isaiah 40. And just see, you know, he was talking about his greatness. He said the nations are just a drop in the bucket. The nation, the islands are just a speck in the scale. He has really weighed the mountains in the scale and the hills. You know how big he is? How big he is? Hello, he span by this, he span the heaven, the starry O's, the stars that you're looking at today. You know what the scientists are saying? It's about 500 billion trillion stars. Hello, are we getting that? Each one of them he called by their name. And he says, you have created them. He created you. You are better than all this creation. All the luminaries that he created. My dear brothers and sisters, he's saying like you have to know his supremacy. Talk about him all the time. Talk about him. Every man and woman are called by him to talk about him. By just knowing him. By accepting him. By professing him, confessing him, your problem cannot be there. I challenge you, my dear brothers and sisters. We were bound and gagged in that place in India. You know, you don't know how, what we went through. But the Lord came through and he broke every chains in the world. So nothing in the world could stop. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, if you're really hearing me, and go to Isaiah chapter, five, Isaiah chapter 40, and you're going to see the amazing Oh, goodness of God is so big. He is a shepherd. He come to save you. He is a shepherd. That's what he says in Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 23. He is looking for you. You are the lame sheep. You are the lame one. You are the blind one. Are you? Are you the maimed one? He said, I come to carry you in my bosom. Just read Isaiah 40. You are greater than the sun and the moon that you created in Genesis chapter 1, verse 16 to 21. Please read it, my dear brothers and sisters. We are really gloating over all this stuff. The sun and the moon and the stars, yes, they're all aligning. To say one thing, it's all about Jesus, the creator. You have to know, and I have to know about it. You don't have to know all the nuances about the sun and the moon and the stars. The sign, the greatest sign the Bible says in Revelation chapter 12, how you can overcome by knowing Jesus Christ, by applying and, you know, you have to drink his word. And the word has to really come out of you. My dear brothers and sisters, he has given his precious holy blood. He has saved you. But he says, repent. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 to 21, he says, you're the temple. And chapter, same 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9 to 12, it talks about all the stuff that is polluting you. All the stuff that is really gagging you. The adultery and the fornications and boy, you know, like you just read every, every evil that is being mentioned in that place. Come out of it. He says, repent. Repent because he's knocking at the door. He's knocking at your heart today. Your heart by, by reaching through these airways. Revelation chapter 3 verse 18 to 20. Just read it. Read it. And you will know where you are. He's heading out. When, the, when you are really engaged in all these fleshly activities, he's out. Yes, that's what Galatians chapter 5 verse 16 onwards says. You, are, you and I are outside of the commonwealth. But he says, you know, the man who is anointed in part by the Holy Spirit, he is totally different. So when you hear my word, dear brothers and sisters, please harden not your heart today. And he is the miracle working God. He is greater than what you think about it. Remember, imagine the Mount Himalayas and great mountains around the world, the Andes and the, you know, here up in the Denali, up in Alaska, they're all 
30 feet and you know here it is the the maximum you know like all this he, he scaled him look at his triceps can you imagine he scooped this uh, you measure in a basket the dust of this entire universe he called them by their name he called the stars by their name you are called by his name how important you are to him yes isaiah 43 he called you by the name. So that's why Jesus is so big. Jesus is so great. He's greater than the temple. He's greater than the prophets. He's greater than whatever you think. That's why, you know, the virgin, when she heard the good news from the angel Gabriel, she magnified the Lord. Her soul magnified. And in her heart, she pondered. So my dear brothers and sisters, she pondered the words of Jesus Christ. Therefore, you know, it is the time for us to ponder his word and magnify him all the way through. Keep magnifying him. Then every other problem will dignify. So, I dear brothers and sisters, you know, like my time is flu, my time is gone. And I know I let my sister Sheila talk to you. And, and you know, yes. Hello, dear brothers and sisters. Thank you for tuning in to our program. And please continue to send in your prayer request and praise report. Also, we have this anointing oil. Please um, get it because it says it's very powerful and a lot of healing. And today, if you hear his voice, harden at your heart and ponder all the things in your heart. And please stand by us, partner with us, and support our ministry. And thank you for watching again, and we'll see you next session. God bless you. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, my dear brothers and sisters. Oh, thank you for having us continue to watch us every first Friday and the third Friday. We're all coming to your home again. Thank you for having us. And may the Lord's blessing be upon you. And I hope you are taking, jotted down every word that I gave you. This is the day. This is the day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice. He's delivered you, healed you. He brought the redemption to you. Today, my sister said, my, me and my family will serve because nothing matters because the Lord set you free from everything that you're going through, whatever heartaches. Today is the day. Thank you. God bless you guys. God bless you all. God bless you all.